guys, thanks for joining me. This is a video on the series X-Men, the animated series. And in, I was just watching this recently on Disney+. Plus. You can watch all the episodes there. I used to love this show as a kid. It came on Fox Kids Network, you know, before all these nice streaming services. If you lived in a rural area, you had only a couple channels, and this is something I enjoyed watching. So I decided to check back with it, and it made me really uncomfortable on this episode. On season one, towards the end of it, and it's, I think it's a pre predictive programming, excuse me, for the New World Order. And entertainment is not what it seems to be. It's not there to entertain you. It's there to implant messages into your subconscious mind. So once the reality sets in and it's to that point, uh, you're more acceptable to it. Your brain will take it in and you'll accept it easier. And that's what they do with cartoons like, you know, of course, Simpsons, Family Guy, just to name a few. It's not there to entertain you. It's there to uh, make you realize in your subconscious mind, like, hey, this is something I've heard for. I'm okay with it. So let me show you the video. And just a little backstory. This guy right here is from the future. This is set in the 90s. And the X-Men are fighting this guy. They don't like him because he's trying to stop Gambit here from killing a president or government or something on this cartoon show. So let me show you the video. I mean, time's up for all of you. Because of him, the whole world is going to be enslaved. Everything you believe in will lie in ashes. And the X-Men are going to die. It starts with a single death in Washington, D.C. The assassin is Gambit. But all mutants get blamed. People are afraid. They want action. They want protection. They want revenge. The mutant control law is passed, calling for an army of sentinels. They march over the nation, seeking out mutants, hunting them down like animals. Surrender, mutants. Some fight back. Oh. But not for long. The Sentinels herd the surviving mutants into detention camps. The camps to find your final stop. You never leave. Never. But those who control the Sentinels don't stop with mutants. Eventually they bring their new world order to all humans. Yeah, that that made me really uncomfortable for a kid's show. And it's just kind of odd. I got a weird feeling from that. And how I interpreted it, you know, call me crazy, just what vibes I was getting from that short clip you just saw. Is something's going to happen, and people's going on protection, and of course AI, hey, how AI, excuse me, is coming around nowadays. There's going to be these robots among us. And like I say, it's going to be protection at first. And then eventually it's going to turn on all of us. And when they say camps, I thought of FEMA camps. Conspiracy, hearing that all a lot. It's going to detain everybody where we can't never leave. And New World Order. <clears throat> Excuse me, you heard that that was there to throw that in your mind predictive programming as a small kid you know the kids are going to watch this that's what it's there for and it's just kind of odd to put that in a kid's show even though you know as a kid you're not going to realize you're just like oh cool robots but 
as an adult now, it's making me think more. It's just really weird. Well, um, just wanted to show that clip and just kind of wanted to see what you guys thought about that and see if it's just me or are y'all getting the same vibe as me. Thanks for watching.